Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I got in a new Red Devil uh, 6600 XT GPU. And here you see the box right now. Uh, I love the 6600 XTs. I never thought I would like the AMD cards. But uh, they don't really consume much wattage. And the 6600 XT gets about 31, 32 mega hashes. Consuming about... Ah, 60 watts on average. These are just roughly rough numbers. So 31 mega hash is typically what I see. 31.8 and 60 watts. Not bad at all. Low, low power consumption compared to the uh, NVIDIA cards. So I, I do like them. And you can score these cards uh, for 550 and under. If you see them above 550, I wouldn't buy them because after you add in tax and maybe shipping, you're getting into 600. And that's a little too much money. So, mindful of that. And in my Discord, I have a in-stock alert, alerts on these cards as well. So, you can, you can actually click on the link and it'll take you to Newegg, which actually has been putting out some low prices on the cards. And you can actually get them. Amazon, not so much, but Newegg and Best Buy. All right, here I am. I am uh, getting the, the uh, motherboard, the uh, Windows 10 all set up. I got the MSI Afterburner. I'm going to be running this card. I'm going to be using NB Miner to set the overclocks. Uh, and so I'll use MSI Afterburner to do that. Whereas NVIDIA, I use T-Rex Miner and set the overclock settings in line in the batch font. So here's the motherboard. This is a smaller one I got for free from GameStop. It's an MSI. It's just a small little motherboard, but it works. And I'm going to slap... The beautiful Red Devil. The Red Devil. Uh, again, it has lots of LEDs on it. Big whoop, but it looks good. It's a nice card. Metal backplate. Nice uh, logo. Pretty beefy. Has some weight to it. But I like there's two fans. And it's not a massive, huge footprint. And But it does take two pins. It takes an 8-pin and a 6-pin from the power supply. So here's my EVGA 750. I did get that free from GameStop as well. I had a bunch of gift certificates. And I didn't realize I had a couple hundred bucks in gift certificates. It's ridiculous how cool GameStop is when you buy certain items. They give you a lot in gift certificates, like bundle stuff. It's, it's really cool. It pays off. So I actually had a couple more hundred bucks, and I got a new microphone coming. Because uh, what I'm doing now it really doesn't sound good most times. So here we are, the motherboard, just some eye candy. There's the Ryzen 5 AMD CPU. Boy, I started with Intel NVIDIA, and I am now an AMD dude. I don't know why. I switched over. I'm, I'm, I'm converted. <laughs> so here I am doing this one-handed. And it worked. It snapped right in. There's the uh, other Red Devil. That puppy's been running solid with its uh, another AMD Ryzen 5 on a MSI motherboard. Looks good. They look good, and they work good. So like I said, there's the EVGA. And it's hard to do this one-handed, so you'll see me stop in a minute, put the camera down, and yeah, that's not the easiest thing to do <laughs> without risking bending pins in that and trying to get a flashlight on it. So, you know, enjoy the uh, GPU B-roll right now. Not much excitement going on there. But yeah, it snaps right in. The plan is... I just want to get this thing up and running and uh, just to get hash. I just want to just uh, you know, stack coins, stack uh, ETH. And uh, I eventually want to make another wood rig for 14 bucks. Take either this mother, probably this motherboard it's on. It's a small motherboard with this EVGA power supply. And uh, this motherboard also has built-in Wi-Fi. So I might keep the rig. It's, you know, the other wood rig I built, you can just pick up like a little little you know six pack and carry it around and with these smaller cards too it's nice too it's not these big 380 ti monsters uh, i just might take that wood rack with maybe get three and eh, we'll see i'll see how many i want to put on maybe i'd like to get six 30 x uh 6600 xts on the new rig and then just put it upstairs i have to make sure the draw so would it be what 60 times six 360 yeah so 360 watts, yeah, watts. So let's say 400 watts plus the motherboard. I should be good with the power supply with the 80% rule on a 750. 
66 times 6, uh, 364, I should be pushing a little bit, but we'll see. Maybe I just put 5, uh, but I can, that way I can just use the ATX EVGA power supply, the 750 right there. Uh, that's the goal, because right now I got a couple of these cards sitting out in the open, not in the grow tent. And I like to maybe get those in the tent or just in another room of the house, just so it's not burning up the, uh, the little work room, the little study room I have most of the stuff in right now. So that is the plan. Again, I order these things and they take a while to get in, so you kind of forget what you were doing. But I did, I did have all the parts. I mean, I just popped this right into the motherboard. I'm down to my last riser. So I actually have to go out to GPU risers and maybe buy another six pack of risers and some splitters. What am I doing here? Oh, these are the pins. I'm gonna jump this thing. Watch this. This is how you jump start a motherboard without a switch. Boom, come on, buddy. It's not, there, doing it one-handed. There goes the lights and there goes the fans. I love that because when you plug in the cables to the jumpers, it's just there's more mess. This is probably one of the cleaner motherboards I put together. It has an M2, an M2 SATA drive, which pops right on the motherboard. No cables, no SATA cables, no big square Kingston uh, SDD drive. So that's one less thing. No wires for the uh, beep, for the, for the horn, the uh, speaker. No wires for the on off switch. Just the wires from the ATX to the motherboard for the power and the CPU and the two the uh, one cable, the PCIe cable, to the uh, 6600 GPU. So almost bare minimum functional, clean uh, motherboard. And I, got, I think I got two memory sticks in there. I just threw two 3200s, because why not? I had them lying around. I don't see myself buying any motherboards for a while. I need to stop spending money on this stuff until I can start recouping and the crypto, and the crypto uh, market comes back up. Maybe start selling off some of my mining stuff and uh, pay for some of this equipment. All right, what am I doing here? Device manager, I'm checking if it recognizes the 6600. Yes, it does, look at that. I always go through device manager, makes it, make sure it's in there. And in there you can check the version of the driver as well. So here I'm just playing around. I did have trouble with this install I don't know if I had the wrong MSI Afterburner or something. So these are just earlier recordings. I'm just getting an MSI Afterburner. That is the default setup. Now here is me going to get the AMD drivers, the 6600 XT drivers, downloading them. Real exciting. So it's almost like the equivalent to the GE Force experience, getting the NVIDIA drivers. Now in a video I put out last week, I found that the older, say six month older NVIDIA drivers work best work better on my 3080 Ti LHR cards than the most recent NVIDIA drivers. So go figure, I'm getting about 90 mega hashes, 89, 90 mega hash on ETH versus 85 to 87. So big difference, I, I just went to the older drivers. So if you don't have to upgrade, don't, unless they have solid proof, upgrading the driver is gonna really help you out. Uh, what am I doing here? Just installing crap. Sorry, I'm just I'm just talking over this video because uh, there's so much noise going on when I was recording this. I just decide I'll I'll record it and then just talk over it, narrate it. There's the AMD software. I like that graphic. <laughs> oh, let's see. This is going to end in a second. Do do do. So I do have the most recent driver installed for the AMD. They get, a bit, they get a bit wacky when you install these drivers sometimes. You might have to power down sometimes. Sometimes they don't hash right, right way. They, sometimes they crash. It's just, it's like they have to get dialed in. I think the problem I was having was MSI Afterburner. I think something got installed wonky when I did it. Uh, what's going on here? Just a little uh, motherboard GPU candy for you. All right, MSI Afterburner. Set the overclocks. I think, I'm thinking I downloaded a bad version. I don't know, I hope not. Because I went and I uninstalled it and reinstalled a newer, uh, uh, reinstalled the um, download from MSI and uh, things started to work a lot better. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, I go in and I always turn off the tool tips. 
because when you mouse over anything, it's just pop, 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 tooltips everywhere, pop ups, and drives you nuts. And then I'm going to go in and set to my favorite default, the Red Devil. I think it's just, is it called Red Devil? I forget. You'll see it here in a second. For the theme. Bum, bum, bum. Just stuff you do. You do all the time and you forget how you do it. That's why I figured I'd record it just so I would have it logged. Because, uh, yeah, you do forget this stuff. The little, the uh, devil in the details as it is. You just forget, how did I do that? How did I turn off the tool tips? How did I overclock this thing? You know? So I have a bunch of 6600 XTs. I think I have one, five spread out. I need to consolidate eventually, but I'm learning a lot and I'm learning with crypto. If it ain't broke, do not fix it. Let it just keep making you money. Because if you start pulling stuff apart and moving stuff, you you will most likely break things or things won't run right like they did before. And that happens to me all the time. So if stuff is working, I do not mess with it. I'm just going to say, hey, all right, I got three 6600 XTs and some NVIDIAs mixed using different mining software on this guy. Who cares? It works. You know, and it's good. It's a good proof of concept that you can mix NVIDIA with AMD on the same rig and it mines just fine. You just have to have different software and make sure you have the right devices specified, blah, blah, blah. Right. It's not impossible. Maybe one day I will consolidate. And I think the cleanest rig I have is the 638 Ti's. And that thing is my beast. That thing is the money maker right there. Over 500 mega hash. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Just, you can watch. <laughs> I can't see the screen. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, config file for my uh, MB miner. Double checking. I'm checking with my old, my other uh, servers running a 6600 XT to make sure the settings look good. Make sure the path is okay. And then I notice I'm, I'm, I'm out of date. I don't need that stuff anymore. I don't need half that crap. I just need the dash log and I'm good to go. What am I doing? So I still have the old version. I think it were I think I eventually downloaded 40. I thought I had the latest NB minor version. I, I just been using T-Rex so much. I haven't messed with NB AMD stuff, which says a lot. So then I realized, oh wow, I'm up three versions behind on NB minor. So I downloaded it. Eventually you'll see me messing around. Just this is just me fumbling. You know, setting the path, blah, blah, blah. And I kind of screwed up. I forgot the EXE. But I'm going to shut up for a while here. You can listen to the nice, soothing sounds of the background music. All right, let's kick it off. We're kicking off the uh, MB minor script. Might check my wallet address. I think there's where I noticed I was missing missing the uh, EXE on the path. Now let's just see if this thing comes up. Again, I think I still have problems here. I was something wasn't just quite churning right. Yeah, I don't think Afterburner was playing well. The first version I downloaded. It just wasn't playing well with this card. And then I rebooted and everything. I just don't know if I, yeah, I don't know what it was. And then I reinstalled the drivers. Eventually, after this whole fiasco you're seeing here, I, re, I eventually went, in, went to an older AMD driver like six months ago. See if that would fix the thing. But then MSI Afterburner wouldn't recognize. It would see the card, but it wouldn't let me change the overclock settings. So I said, oh, great. 
lesson learned. Upgraded to the latest AMD drivers for the 30, uh, the 6600 XT. And MSI Afterburner was then allowed me then to set the overclocks, the core clock and the memory clock and the fans as all I set. And I set them to what I have set on my other uh, 6600 XT cards. Here I'm reading the README because I thought I had devices input wrong, but I just forgot to put the MB minor EXE after the path. <laughs> Doing it one handed, man, it's not easy sometimes. But you guys get the gist of what's going on. You know, you're doing a lot. You're put, you think you're just going to slap a new card on. You end up going, oh crap, I got to upgrade the, um, the minor software. I should upgrade it, but I did, you know, you do it anyway. Just let me have the latest MB minor software. Get the latest MSI Afterburner. I, in this case, I downloaded a, it from uh, scratch. I didn't have it on this, this uh, Windows system. And there we go again. Checks the devices, no acceptance yet. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to run it. Okay, run as admin. There it goes. NB mana. Oh, here I'm still running the old version. I'm sorry, guys. I just thought I would leave this in here just, just to show. Sometimes I do waste a lot of time as I do this, and I wasted way too much time getting this car to work today. I don't know why. Uh, I just wasn't thinking to clear. But anyway, that's just a lot of wasted effort because I realized then I needed to upgrade the MB. I wanted to upgrade the MB Miner, and here I am installing the um, latest AMD chipset stuff. Because I have a Ryzen, uh, what is this one? Ryzen 5 on this board, and the board's new, and I just wanted to make sure it was all up to date. And in the background, I'm also doing a lot of Windows update to make sure I'm the latest and greatest without going to Windows 11. Oh God, I don't want to go to Windows 11. I know Windows 10, it's the devil you know, right? The red devil. All right, hang on, this should end in a second. Here, we'll go into some MB minor stuff. Yeah, that's boring. It's just downloading. It took a while. Oh, here we are. Version 40.1 MB Minor. So during this, I went and downloaded the latest zip file, MB Minor zip file, from their GitHub. And I just pretty much copied over the ETH file with my address, my wallet address, and the mining pool Ether mine. Here I'm playing with some clock settings. What I have, night? I can't read that. 1926. And this card was different. And I tried to figure out what was different on it, because the memory clock range on my other cards, the lowest setting was 2224, all the way to slid to the left. On this card, it was 2000. So either had different version yet, a different BIOS, a different memory. I I went through it, everything looked right. It's just the driver on my other machines was still newer. I don't know how that happened. I couldn't find the newer driver um, that my other cards are running. So uh, this one's a little bit older. I eventually got it updated. But yeah, it's just weird. The memory clock things were a bit different. So I didn't run it 2224, which I typically run on the other uh, 6600 XT. This one I ran, I think I finally tuned it into memory clock at 2100 and it, it's giving me the same hash 31.88 around there and the memory about 60 this one's yeah there's 31 plate that's a high one there you see 70 power i haven't seen that since i been uh, messing around with this today i've seen about 60 i just think i was just trying too many things at once i was downloading msi afterburner i was downloading the amd drivers and i think i was just stepping up on myself i should just Got the thing working and not mucked around way too much with this. Mm -hmm.